Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share a devotion entitled War Heroes. War Heroes. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You know, when a person willingly puts his, their lives on the line to, for the protection of another, or for a cause they believe in, they are rebel and respected. If they lose their life, they are remembered as a hero. Their actions demonstrate a tangible expression of sacrificial love. In the face of danger, the absence of heroism is, pro- is protecting others and the great for and the greater good even if the cause is one's own well-being and life the bible tells us when jesus came to earth as a human he gave up the protection of heaven he limited himself to a fragile human body and life with the purpose of protecting us from eternal separation from god and eternal damnation for eternity. While we don't even refer to Jesus as a war hero, because the war he is fighting for you and I, or we are fighting, is largely invisible. He courageously stepped into the fray and became the life, the recipient of the death destined for you and I on our behalf. Because of sin, we are supposed to die. And, and be judged and go to hell for eternity. But because God so loved He sent Jesus, Jesus came on our behalf to die on our behalf of our sin. Jesus surrendered His life to win the war being fought over our souls. The devil want to keep our souls with Him for eternity. But Jesus so loved us, He died for us because the Father sent Him for you and I. He walked among men for 30 years, over years, and he died on the cross for your sin and my sin. Why? His destruction brought our freedom. One more time. His destruction bought our freedom. Because of sin, we were in bondage. Because of sin, we are living forever under the curse of sin. And you know what? The devil doesn't want us to follow Christ. But when you and I receive Jesus into our heart as a God and personal Savior, He frees us from the bondage and the control of sin and f- give us freedom with Christ. So therefore, He has won the war for you and I, Jesus Christ, so that you and I have life. When you and I have life in Christ Jesus, live your life well. Live your life in the freedom of Christ to be whom God wants you to be so that you can be a blessing to the people in this world so that you can lead the people around you to the saving grace of God so that when you live in freedom and not in sin and not in bondage, you know what? When people see your life in spite of all that you and I are going through in life, you can still rejoice and you can still preach God, you can still trust God, you can still live happily victoriously, people will find (coughs) hope because of your life. So therefore, learn to live a life of freedom in Christ. And in the freedom in your life, be a blessing to people around and direct people to the saving grace of God through your life. Well, live life for Jesus. Amen. John Stock said this, a person's life is his most precious possession. Consequently, to rob him of it is the greatest sin we can commit against him. While to give one's own life on his behalf is the greatest possible expression of love for him. This then is the ultimate contrast. Cain's hatred issued in murder. Christ's love issued in self-sacrifice. Amen. The best way, the best way you and I can express our gratitude of Christ's love by dying on the cross for you and I and free you and I from the bondage of sin 
is to live your life for Him, to love people around and show people to His saving grace and His love for them. Amen? So, learn to love people and reflect Christ in your life and your action. Amen? Father, bless us with a great day and all this we pray in Jesus' name. You have a great day and God bless you. See you again next in two, weeks, in two days' time. God bless.